as you can see from the cover slide, this video is going to talk about speed and velocity. But before we get into speed and velocity, I just want to go over the things we kind of talked about already. We talked about scalars and vectors and what the difference is between a scalar and a vector. A scalar is something that's uh, described by its magnitude only. So, if, for example, 5 kilometers or 3 meters per second, those are scalars because they don't have a direction associated to them, just a magnitude. Then velocity, velocity is something that has a magnitude and a direction. So if we have 3 meters per second to the west or 20 kilometers to the south, those are vectors because they have a magnitude and a velocity. So after we talked about scalar and vectors, then we went on and we talked about distance and displacement. Distance is how far you've gone. So when we talk about our distance, we usually say 20, 20 kilometers, I went 10 blocks, I ran 5 miles, all that kind of stuff, but we don't usually associate a direction with that. So distance is just how far. Now when we talk about displacement, it has a very specific definition, and that is it's our change in position. So all we really care about is our initial position and our final position and which direction we went. So that um, displacement, because it has a direction to it, is a vector. But we don't care what we did in between our final position and our initial position. All right, we just have to know the final and the initial, and then we from that we can determine the direction also. Okay, so that's uh, scalar, vector, distance, and displacement. Okay, now this is about speed and velocity. Uh, this is the picture on the front here. This is Walter Lewin. He's a professor at MIT. He teaches uh, kind of an introductory physics class. He does a lot of demonstrations in class, as you can see this one here. And um, uh, if you go onto iTunes and onto iTunes U, and then to MIT, you can search for his classes, and you can actually watch recordings of his classes, and they're actually very good if you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff. All right, here we go, speed and velocity. Um, speed, most people know just like distance is how far, speed is how fast. And um, in order to figure out how fast you're going, you have to know two things. You have to know the distance you went, and you have to know the time it took you to get that distance. And then you can calculate the speed is by dividing the distance by the time. So speed is just distance divided by time. Speed is a scalar. All it is is the magnitude. Usually when we said how fast we're going, we usually just say 5 meters per second, 20 miles per hour. We don't really say which direction we're going. And when you get a speeding ticket, the police don't really care which way you're going. If you're going too fast, you're going too fast and you broke the speed limit. Okay, It's not the velocity limit. Okay, So that's speed. It's a scalar, it's how fast, and it's distance divided by time. Okay, next, uh, velocity. Velocity, ha like displacement, velocity has a kind of a really specific definition that a lot of people aren't familiar with. It's the rate of change of position of an object. And it is a vector, and it looks kind of like speed, but it has a direction. So a lot of people will say velocity is speed with a direction. So, for example, our speed was 5 meters per second, but in this case, it was we're going to the east. Somebody could be going in the same di in the opposite direction, but have the same speed. So, if, some, if I'm going 5 meters per second to the east, and somebody else is going 5 meters per second to the west, our speeds are the same, but our velocities are not the same. Okay? So, velocity is a vector. It has magnitude and direction, and to calculate the velocity, you have to know your change in position, final minus initial always, and the time it took for that change in position to occur. All right, so that's speed, that's velocity. Speed, how fast, velocity, change in position, speed, scalar, velocity, vector, and um, um, I think that's it. Okay, so. Um, there's one other quick point I want to make, and this is going to come up a lot in class. Um, it's very important to remember that the sign of the velocity tells you the direction that you're going. That's all. It has nothing to do with whether you're speeding up or slowing down. A lot of people think negative velocity means you're slowing down. If my velocity is negative 10 meters per second or negative 75 miles per hour, that does not mean I'm slowing down. It just means I'm going in the negative direction. All right. So it says right here, for example, if I'm moving with a positive 5 velocity and you're moving with a negative 5, it means that our speeds are the same, but our directions are opposite. The sign of the velocity tells you the direction that you're going. 
All right, so that's that for the slides there. I'm gonna go over some uh, problems really quick. All right, so here's speed and velocity. Here's our number lines. The same number lines I use on the distance and displacement because their speed and velocity are kind of like distance and displacement, except they incorporate time into them. So for example, here's our speed is distance divided by time. We started here and we ended over here. How far did we go? One, two, three, four meters per second, excuse me. We went for, let me change this back to black. Hold on one second. We went for meters and I put up here that the time is two seconds. So I put two seconds down here and then it's just becomes two meters per second. That's the speed is two meters per second. Now, when we figure out the velocity, now this one's kind of easy because they're gonna be similar. Hopefully you can see that maybe. Uh, you can see that um, my final position is five meters minus my initial position, which is one meter. And I divide that by the time, two seconds, and you can see that that's still two meters per second. But I have, should put down here, I was going in the positive direction, so my velocity is positive. So it's positive two meters per second, and my speed is just two meters per second. All right, let's try another one. All right, let me change this to here. Okay, once again, I have the equation here, which is the first thing we always write down the equation, the distance. We started here at A and we went over here to B. Now we're not gonna be concerned with negatives and positives, it's just the distance. One, two, three, four, five, six meters in this case. So we put down here six meters and the time is four seconds. So six divided by four is 1.5 meters per second. All right, so that's the speed. Speeds are pretty easy. Okay, velocity is gonna be our final position, which is minus four meters, minus two meters divided by four seconds. And you can see that this is minus six meters divided by four seconds. And now we have a velocity of minus 1.5 meters per second. Okay, now I pointed out earlier, negative velocity does not mean we're slowing down. Negative velocity means we went in the negative direction, and that's all, okay? All right, let's do this one. Last one, I think. Okay, so here we have our speed, and speed is distance divided by time. Now we gotta, cut, we gotta add up all the distances. We start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And uh, 12 meters. And we'll assume that the time is 10 seconds. So 12 meters divided by 10 seconds is 1.2 meters per second. All right, now, here's velocity. Velocity, as we know, is final minus initial. So what's our final? Our final is minus one meter. And what's our initial? Minus three meters over 10 seconds. And we get uh, that that is one plus three meters, right? Minus and minus is a plus over 10 seconds. And that is four meters over 10 seconds. And we come up with, oops, and we come up with 0 0.4 meters per second. Okay, that's 0 0.4 meters per second. All right, you can see that in this case, the speed and the velocity look very different from each other, okay? And um, of course, this should be a positive velocity. And you can see that because we started here and although our positions are all negative over here, we still ended up going in the positive direction from where we started to where we ended. Okay, so they should be pretty straightforward. The main thing is write down the equation and plug the numbers in. And if you can keep your signs straight, it should all work out for you.